Yo yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another banger video. I hope you have a banger day. Today is about to be banger, so let's make it a banger. Who nailed it? Anyways, today we're going to be reviewing this 2014 Toyota Prius C. Now, I do believe that this is just a normal base model Prius. Now, the Prius, it is pretty small. It does have automatic driver's window. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm redoing this is because for some reason, I went to YouTube Studio on this video, I went to restrictions, and for some reason, copyright claim was on it. Like, bro, what? It's my video. There's literally no stolen assets. Or nothing stolen. But anyways, so here's the normal screen. So this is what happens. So when the car is on and driving, like if I would have pressed the gas, if the car was on, it would show you, like, how much battery is being used from the electric motor and the gas motor and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. We got a drive information. This is your standard information. Here you have, like, your drive time, a minute, your average speed. Then you have, like, your miles per gallon from start, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 108 miles, zero miles electric. And then, like, it'll tell you, like, how many percents, like, electric, like, 24% electric. 22% electric, like, during your entire trip. Here's your speedometer and stuff. You have, like, the gear. Okay, and then next screen. Here's your eco score. So, basically, this thing here, it stays in the green. Whenever it comes into the red here, that means it's using like a lot of power and stuff, and it's not really eco, eco friendly. This screen is also basically the same thing. It's a little bit different, as you can see. I'm gonna go back to the normal screen. Um, here's your heat rate. Um, so let's go ahead, turn on the lights, hazards, and let's take a look at the exterior, shall we? Yeah, you show off, like, your dimmer controls and stuff. But anyways, let's take a look at the exterior. Um, does this have fog lights? I'm trying to think. No, I don't think it does. So here's your headlights, turn signal, headlights, turn signal, turn signal. Here's like your brake lights and stuff. And now let's go ahead and start up the Prius. <laughs> so the Prius is actually on, the engine is on. So let's go ahead and on the engine. That's what the engine sounds like. Turn off the lights and stuff. Um, here's the radio. At any location, I am not a realtor or associated with a realty company. I am a private real estate investor. You have your climate controls and stuff right here. It does blow nice and cold. Uh, if the car was on the AC, it would blow nice and cold. So you just turn that off. I showed you guys that. You have EV mode and Eco mode. So you can turn that off, I guess. Um... Then you have no armrest, no center console, nothing like that. Here you have two owner manuals. You have another box here. Um, you have USB and auxiliary on port. So you can listen to music from your phone, automatic driver's window, door locks, your rear window locks. And yeah, that's about all there is up here. Let's go ahead and go to the back seats, I guess. 
Oh, I forgot to mention. Whenever you go to take out the key, you can't just turn it off and pull it out. You have to actually turn it off, push it, twist it down, and then you can pull it out. The Ford Edge has a similar thing. Oh, let me tell you about how the, how the Prius drives real quick, because I have driven this thing. It drives nice and smooth. Um, it is pretty slow, because it is a CVT transmission. Um, it is really nice to maneuver, like parking in the garage here. Mm, it is so nice, I tell you. But anyways, let me go ahead and put this in the driving position where my dad would usually drive. Or like my grandpa would drive, because this is my grandpa's car. We're just borrowing it, because our car is getting fixed. It has a gas leak. What are so... I have leg room, I have headroom, but then again, guys, keep in mind, I am only like 5'2", and I look like a toddler, and I look like I'm a toddler, so, yeah, or I look like I'm 5 or something, I don't know, so what, someone was like, how old are you, they were like, 5, I was like, what, no, I'm not 5, I'm way older than 5, here, so you open the, Little fuel door. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Now, guys, I'm not exactly trying to keep this video long. Like, I'm trying to keep it kind of short. Um, so, I went to the store with this thing this morning. And in order to actually get a actual week's worth of groceries in, you have to first pop that up. And you pop the other side up, and then you can fold it down. Come on, see, it's fold down. You have to fold it down like that, and that's, like, the only way you can get groceries in it. I know, it's really weird. Oh, yeah, and that is all, all one thing. You have a little handle right here to close it with. But, this thing can save you if you really want to be eco-friendly. You can be saved about 50 miles a gallon. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. 50 miles per gallon. And this thing. That's pretty good. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed, please watch my review of the Ford Edge. Bye.